In this video, it's about this preset down here called Multipressor. And this time it's not a recreation of an existing plugin, even though there are probably a lot of plugins on the market that do exactly the same thing. But I always wanted to use the EQ as a multiband compressor. Uh, because of this, you can circumvent more or less these phase issues with the crossover frequencies where you have these dips, these frequency dips at these positions and also sometimes, yeah, phasing. Um, so here, this is called Multipressor and we want to use this on the Addictive Drums plug in here with some drums. This is how it sounds. And I also want to show you, of course, the full screen. This is how it looks like. Down here is the preset. Um, so we want to use this on the Addictive Drums uh, plug in here. And we can change here the threshold. So we can pull down the threshold so we act on more um, on the audio signal more. And we also can introduce here the ratio to compress the signal. You can already hear it, but I also want to show you how it looks like because I'm using here the EQ5 as a compressor. So this is obviously too much. But you can see here the EQ reacts to certain frequencies differently. Um, and tries to push it down. Um, you also have here some attack and release controls like in a normal compressor. You can see it, it reacts much, much slower now. Um, on top of this, you can change the input gain here so you can drive the audio material louder into the compressor which is more or less the same thing than just pulling down here the threshold um, so making the audio material louder or pulling the threshold down is more or less the same thing even though it changes the output gain a bit right so but it's more or less the same thing then we have here a knob called up equals faster, which means um, you can alter the reaction time for rise and fall uh, for the top um, yeah, frequency bands differently. But I scaled it a bit. So when you turn this up, this is much faster. This is a little bit less fast, you know, less fast, less fast, and this doesn't change at all. So um, I did this because sometimes you want to have slow compression or glue compression in the low end and you want to react to hi-hats which are most of the time 16 notes uh, much faster right so i did this um, specifically for this purpose so you can see here the top top bands are reacting much faster to the audio material than the low band here right so you can change basically here this and increase the reaction speed with the top bands just with this knob. Um, then also you can change here how much it uh, reduces the volume with this. So when you push this all the way up, um, it doesn't react to low bands anymore and only to or more to upper bands and vice versa. So I can show you this here. So you can skew the result or the gain reduction to different bands with this uh, up down here. So it's a, a tilt knob more or less. <clears throat> then we have here a makeup clip gain, which means you pull down here this um, 
gain knob on the over clipper, which makes everything just louder. So you drive everything coming from the compressor into this clipper here and you increase the makeup clip gain and then it pushes everything into this clipper, clips all the peaks and makes everything, yeah, minus, I think, minus 0.3 dB loud. So that's the idea behind it. On top of that, we have also here not only compression, we have also expansion. So under a certain... Um, yeah, threshold, it takes the audio material and pushes everything up. I show you this here, how it, how it looks like. Right, you can see here volume going up. So this is very drastic change, right? Uh, but you can do it if you want to. So there's expansion and compression um, based on the EQ5. And on top of that, if you want to dial down the effect, you can use this global scale amount here. So this knob on the EQ5 says, um, scales the gain setting of all bands moderating the effect which means um, it just brings down the effect of each of these um, gain settings here. So you can scale down the whole effect. So if you dial down something here you really like, for instance, the sound here, right? You can bring down this amount knob. And it sounds less tra tra traumatic in a way so you can you can scale the whole limiter in a way um i also created this preset uh, with the eq plus first so if you don't want to use the eq5 you can just disable eq5 here and enable eq plus and it works in the same way so you can switch between the two if you like maybe the eq plus more or maybe you like the eq5 more it depends on you, right? And yeah, so compression, expansion with five bands on an EQ5, um, you can scale different uh, frequencies, um, upper frequencies or lower frequencies more if you want to. You can change the reaction speed here for the upper frequencies. You have gain stuff. You can also switch here the follower to peak if you want to do this. So it sounds a bit different, but not too... It's not too drastic of an effect. Um, rise and fall, which is attack and decay for a compressor. Ratio for the expansion, ratio for the um, for the compression here. Threshold, this is all the way up. Um, I did this um, reversed or inverted here because I think you always want to have for the compressor, you want to pull down. So in this direction, if you want to get, if you want to have more audio, uh, going into the compressor. So I made this vice versa. So this is the zero position. This is the zero position here for the expansion. So it's um, the opposite. I don't know, maybe it doesn't make any sense. I had this like this before. So you had to increase this, right? To get more into the limiter, but I think this is better. Um, so rise and fall. Yeah, I put this in the description below. It's just a um, multi-band compressor based on EQ5. I think it sounds um, cool in a way. You can try it out. It's completely free. Leave me a like, leave a subscription, have fun, leave me comments if you have some questions and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye.